The late cynodont reptiles and early mammals evolved a number of changes of the skull, which included the loss of the post-orbital bar, the loss of the bony protection around the eye. It is quite likely that the early mammals, which were rodent-sized and we imagine primarily nocturnal, uh, did not need uh, this bony protection around the eye and did not rely overly on sight. However, later, as mammals spread throughout the world after the extinction of the dinosaurs, a number of lineages evolved more protection around the eye, such as horses, camels, and primates. Here you can see uh, two skulls, that of an elephant and that of an armadillo, which lack the post-orbital bar. They retain the primitive condition of having the area uh, for jaw muscles uh, being continuous with the area for the orbit. So here in these mammals, as in the first mammals, there is no post-orbital bar. In the skull of a cat, you can see while there is no complete post-orbital bar, that the frontal bone and the jugal slash zygomatic bone have evolved extensions or processes which come close to touching. And so therefore, there is almost a complete post-orbital bar surrounding the eye and giving it uh, some support. While the plesiodapiforms of the Paleocene did not possess a post-orbital bar, although they did possess processes on the frontal bone which perhaps uh, were the beginnings of such a bar, this is a feature of primates. So prosimians, monkeys, and apes all possess a post-orbital bar. The frontal bone and zygomatic bone make contact on the lateral side of the eye and thus protect the eye surrounding it in bone. And so this is a primate feature, the presence of this post-orbital bar.